All right, guys, so in this video, we're here on the New San Michel, and what you see here are beautiful, beautiful rivers. They're very dry right now. And I'm going to show you in Photoshop using the new Photoshop beta how we can go from this to that. Let's do it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to take the photo. So I'm shooting with the Sony 7R5. Very easy. I have a 70 to 300. I want to compress a shot and get the most semi shot closer. So I'm going to take a few photos in manual mode, 100 ISO, 7.1, which usually is the best aperture with this kind of photo, and then a very fast speed. So I'm going to go take the photo. So this is the photo that I was hoping to get, uh, that uh, one of my students got, and you can only get it on high tide when the water, it's only like twice per month. And unfortunately that day it was not the case, but the water do not only comes up there, but it's very flat. So let's see if we can recreate it in this beautiful Photoshop beta. Before we go to Photoshop beta, I just want to do a bit of retouching. I'm going to open the shadow, bring on the highlights. I'm going to crush the blacks on this photo. So hold on the option key to crush the blacks. Uh, when you hold on the option key, what you see in yellow and green are pixel, which are 100% black. I want them to be 100% black because I like to go from pure darkness to pure brightness. Now this one, I'm not going to open the white so much because I want to give it an evening feeling. It was very overcast. So when it's overcast, you can match with sunset if you do it right. First, you have to make it a bit darker and then you have to have, you, you have to make, add a lot of yellow and a lot of magenta a bit of saturation, you know, so that it has the, the warm colors of the evening. Okay, once that's done, uh, let's see here, I got a sensor dust, but this is gonna go away when I'm gonna replace the sky. So I'm gonna right click, oh, first you need to know, to be able to install the beta, you need to go to your Creative Cloud account and you need to make sure you download the up, uh, Photoshop beta and you need to open it, meaning that it needs to be running in the background for this to work, because check this out. Once you have it running in the background and if you, if you want to make sure it's running in the background, whether you're on Windows or Mac, if you just press Command Tab, you can see all the stuff you've got in memory. So I've got, and this is, you see, that's the logo you should see. It's white and it says PS Adobe Photoshop Beta. So let's go back to the Lightroom. And now I'm gonna right click, edit, edit in Photoshop 2023. But because the beta is running, it says, do you want to open Photoshop beta, which is already running? If not, please close and retry. So I'm gonna say, no, I wanna run it in the Adobe Photoshop beta. This beta is actually really insane. So first thing first, you need to change the sky because I wanna match the sky that what, you know, the photo I showed you earlier. So I'm gonna to go to edit, sky replacement, and you might get like one of these skies, which are the default sky. Now, how do you add a sky like I'm gonna provide you? So the, the sky is under the video. What you do is you click here on the sky and then you go, uh, I would create like, uh, you see, this is all my skies. I've got like a whole sky collection. You have the link under the video if you want to purchase my Florida sky, sky collection, but I'll give you one. First, you, 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 know, you might want to create a group by clicking here and click like my skies. Once you have that, you're on my skies. Uh, I already have a few skies there. You just click on the plus. You go to this, uh, to this row file uh, folder that I give you where you have the actual raw file, but you also have this beautiful sky. Uh, called sunset medium format, which is this guy, and you click here, open, and you s and then you can now select it, and it's gonna re replace it with that sky. I really like that sky. It's kind of similar to the sky that she had that day. You know, it's warm. I mean, mine is even more crazy, uh, but it's kind of cool. I I think I want to flip it because um, yeah, let's see, let's see, uh, yeah, let's flip it because you see in real life. The brighter spot is here, so we flip it so to match it, and now press OK. Now, now comes the magic of Photoshop Beta. So you can see here you have a group just with the sky. I'm going to go back on the background, and I want to make a really cool selection here. I'm going to zoom in, so I'm using the Z for zoom, okay, and you can zoom in and out, so I'm going to zoom in. And when you zoom in, you can hold on the space bar to move around, okay? What I want to do is I want to add water there. So for this, we need to make a selection and tell the new Photoshop Beta AI to add the water. The complex part is to add uh, the um, a selection. So I'm going to press P on the keyboard for the pen tool. And the reason why I use the pen tool is I want to make a very precise uh, selection. So the way the pen tool works is you click and you click and it just makes dots. Now, if you when you have a curve like this, if you click and drag, you can make a curve. 
you click and drag and click and basically just hold on your finger, click and drag, and then you can follow the curve. Now what's important for this to be realistic, let's do original photo. You see the water was actually pretty high. I'm gonna sort of match that, but it's, you know, there's still a bit of space here. And so I'm gonna click and I'm gonna follow this. And um, you can zoom in even more, go back on the pen tool, and you wanna follow this really closely. So don't forget you can click and drag, click and drag if you have a curve, and you just follow the curve. Don't worry about the handles, there is some like handles. They are called Bezier handles, and we don't care about that. You just click and drag and you follow, just like if the water were there. And if you make a mistake, you can go back by pressing Command Z and uh, try to do this, zoom in, and you know, when you do a curve, you just click and drag and it's gonna make a nice curve for the water. And make sure you don't go here on top, like anything which is facing you, you wanna have a bit of space. You see, this is not facing me, but the water would be facing me there. And I'm gonna go here and make a selection. Okay, there the water might not be visible because uh, you know it's uh, getting a little uh, compressed as a view. So I'm just gonna go here. And so the last dot, you just click here and now it makes a dot. So now we have, it's not a selection, like it's just like a pen a curve. I think that's how they call it. Then you, you're still using the pen tool. You go over the blue line and you right click and you go make a selection. Now that selection, I'm going to give it a feather of one pixel, which is kind of cool. One pixel is enough. And you see generated fill. Let's just say add water and see what happens. And that's what that's going to do is going to send this to the web. Let's see what happens. Okay, so here's your initial result. Now, when you do the generate field, you always have three results. I mean, the first one is kind of bad, but it's kind of bad, but the water is very low. Let's see. You see it says one, two, three. So let's see result number two might be better. Ooh, more water. And then this one's kind of cool, but we are lacking of, there's no reflection. It's like the reflection is gone. And I think I went a bit too low, so let's see here. I'm gonna say add water uh, with reflection. Now that's way better. You see now it says one out of six. Let's let's actually, um, let's click on fit screen to see it better. Oh, I like this one. Let's see, number two, not so bad. Number three, ooh, I like number three. And then the, the, the other one is gonna be the same. And, uh, I think I like this one, uh, but I'm not really happy with this one. Ah, uh, yeah, this one is really the best. This one is really the best. I kind of like that. That really is realistic. There's a bit of ripples. Okay, but now the, the foreground is way too dark. So, so here we have the background, okay, before, after. Here we have the river, before, after. And here we have the sky, before, after. So between the sky and the river, if I add a little curve adjustment, and I'm giving you the raw file under the video, so I challenge you to the same. Check this out. Now I'm only making the bottom of the photo darker. I think it's kind of nice that it's darker, but let's say make it more red. So that's the, th this curve is on the RGB, meaning it's doing everything. It's you know lowering the, uh, the red, the green, and the blue. But now if I go here just to red and I click up, you see now if I click up, I'm gonna overdo it so you can see it's gonna make the bottom red and the bottom green. So I just wanna add a bit of red, yes. And let's go to the green. If I go up, it's gonna add a green. If I go down, it's gonna add a bit of red. So let's do that. Already wanna add that. And then let's go to the blue. And same thing. Maybe, oh, maybe I'm gonna add a bit of blue on this one. Okay, so check it out. I'm, with the curve adjustment and without the curve adjustment, it makes the, the, the bottom match a lot. Okay, now I'm gonna do a double adjustment. So I'm gonna to go to File, Close All, and it's gonna save this into Lightroom. So we go back to Lightroom, and now I'm gonna do what I call a double adjustment, meaning that I'm going to try to um, do some more retouching on it. Okay, so I'm back in Lightroom, and I just wanna, on this one, I think I'm just gonna add a bit of contrast. I'm gonna put the shadows a bit, bring down the highlights, 
I'm going to crash the blacks, the whites. And I think I want to, this is a bit bright, so I'm just going to add a little curve, a gradient here. I, I, I want to add a bit of a gradient and maybe lower a little bit uh, here so that we have a bit of a vignette effect. And that's about it. Now check this out. This is the before, full screen. And this is the final result using this new Photoshop beta. So I challenge you, download the raw files, uh, see if you can do it. And if you post it on social media, use the hashtag at PhotoSearch uh, to give me a credit as a photographer and uh, see if you can train with this new Photoshop beta. It's kind of cool what you can do with it.